Hey YouTube, this is Big Dre 20 Here today, I'm going to be hydro dipping my dust cap Now this is a carbon fiber 8 inch dust cap That SoundQ offered years ago for the HTC4s and things like that um, It's fiberglass dust cap Well right now what you see is over this, this is a primer base And it's kind of greenish because I sprayed it with the um, glow in the dark spray spray paint just so it can have a nice glow in the dark back thing to it so gonna be hydro dipping it with this one piece film that I picked up from hydro graphics just watching some little videos on the process for hydro dipping and things like that and decided to try it for myself. Um, these dust caps, like I said, I sprayed them with the uh, glow in the dark just to give it something different, a different look. These were originally black. And like I said, I just went ahead and sprayed, painted them with a white base coat primer, sanded it down, got it pretty smooth. Then I sprayed it again with the primer to finish in the, um, to make it full, nice base to go off of and then I sprayed the glow in the dark now when hydro dipping as you can see in this side right here is a really shiny side and you can actually see the image that's going to be on the item that you're going to dip and then the, the back side is not as shiny it's a little duller when you hydro dip you want to lay the shiny side into the water you don't want to get you want to lay it down uh, without getting water on this side because you don't want it to to stretch or damage the film itself now as you see I put painters tape around the corners and the edges and the reason why you do that is to prevent the sheet from um, spreading the image from spreading as you put it in the water now when dipping the water is supposed to be between 90 degrees Fahrenheit or so so I have this little little meter here, the thermostat. I'm gonna be testing the temperature of this water. Now it's supposed to be somewhere around 90, as you can see. I don't know if you can. It's a little under 100. So it should be okay. I'm not, I have tried, this is, will be my third dust cap I'm trying. So it's definitely not my first time, but I'm still new to this. Now, this is what you have to spray over the film while it's in the water. And this is the hydro activator from the company I, I got the film from. It's the hydro graphics. Shake this up a little bit. So you're gonna lay down this film in the water for one minute, like I said, on the shiny side. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let it sit for one minute. Let's go ahead and put my timer on. Put my timer on here for one minute. While it's soaking in, as you can see, if you can, it's starting to make some little bubbles. Not bubbles, but um, it gets a little wrinkled because it's absorbing the water. And like I said, just let it soak in. Sorry for the noise, it's me shaking this activator. Once the minute is up, I'm going to spray in this activator to basically get it to better adhere to the item that you're dipping. You're gonna to need to do that process. If you don't, you will definitely watch all this film just wash away. Okay. 
Okay. There goes the timer. One minute is done. So let's go ahead and spray the activator. So nice, four nice passes. And let's see if we can do this. Alright, so this is how it came out. Now the film kind of stretched, as you can see, it's pretty like wide. So it pretty much stretched on me. If I had cut the sheet, maybe not so wide and a little bit more to size of the item, it wouldn't have been so stretched. But like I said, I'm still learning, still practicing. Um, this is my third one doing. I'm okay with the stretch. I just like the image. I love One Piece. Um, I love anime. So this is going to be going over my subwoofer. And like I said, with the the um, white base primer and the glow in the dark that I sprayed over to um, dip the process, it's going to give it a nice. Let's see if we can see it. Let's see if I can get it a little bit more light to show the glow in the dark finish. Now, I will recommend not doing this in your restroom or your home. And Unlike myself, you should definitely wear a, like a respirator mask because this activator is really strong. But let's see how it looks. Now this is the dust cap with the glow in the dark background. Well, YouTube. Sorry to make this video so long, but just showing the custom dust carbon fiber eight inch dust cap for the sub. Like I said, right now the image is it's still nice. I like it. It's better than what it once was. But for the stretching, if I had cut the film a little bit more to size, I'm sure. That would have prevented it from doing so. But overall, I'm happy with it. And this is for anyone who wants to try doing this. Um, like I said, it's not really hard. A very fun process. A good learning process. I say give it a try. Sorry to make this video so long, you guys. But I do definitely appreciate you tuning in. Stay tuned for more. And as always, peace and love.